free driver education to help you ace your driving test. Truby Cars. Hello everyone, this is Mandeep from uh, Truby Cars. Um, this video we are in uh, Burlington, Ontario. So if you are uh, going for your uh, G2 or G driving test in Burlington, Ontario, this video is going to help you out. Uh, we will cover some of the driving rules. If you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to uh, Truby Cars. Uh, we are uploading videos uh, almost every day. And if you need a uh, driving lesson, you're looking for a driving school, go to trubycars.ca. We work with the best uh, driving schools uh, all over Ontario. So let's uh, get started. So we are um, okay. So we are going to exit uh, from this parking lot, and uh, we're going to be turning left. So I'm going to um, go in the left-hand um, lane, left signal on, and uh, right now the light is uh, red. So we have to come to a complete stop. Wait for the light to turn green. Uh, let's uh, look at the intersection. So when you're waiting for the light to turn green, uh, you want to start looking at the intersection. So this way you can um, you know plan everything. Um, so um, on this intersection, we got uh, two vehicles uh, on the other side and they um, looks like they want to go left. Now the first one does not have any signal on, but I can see the tires are pointing to the left hand side. So I think they want to go left, but uh, we have to be uh, careful. Um, and um, uh, I don't see from this position, I don't see the speed limit sign on that street there, but there is a divider in the middle of the road so we have to cross the divider and go in the um, uh, left lane uh, light is still red and when the light turns green like now we're gonna quickly scan the intersection um yeah so the first vehicle was turning left and uh, the second one is going left no pedestrian crossing here so we go in the left hand lane and now we can uh, switch lanes to the right so with a mirror uh, sorry with a signal mirror check shoulder check and then we uh, change lane to the right from this intersection we are uh, going straight so light is red uh, slowing down looking in my uh, rear view mirror as well and uh, maintaining distance from this car so when you stop behind another vehicle uh, you you want to leave uh, about a car length distance like you should be able to see the um, um, you know back wheels on the road okay um so there's uh, one car behind me at the moment um you know light um there is a green arrow for the left hand turn uh so same thing here when the you know like light turns green we're gonna quickly scan the intersection because this will um you know um establish a habit basically right so this will establish a habit that you need to uh, signal Okay, so uh, we came into this lane uh, because the other lane is uh, only for the right hand turns and we wanted to go straight. Now the car in front of me, I don't know if you noticed that or not, but they actually changed lane after the intersection when they should not be doing that. Okay, so you don't want to do that. So that's why you need to uh, plan your lanes uh, ahead of time. So green light, scanning intersection. Okay, um, so um, on the next uh, intersection, we're gonna be turning left uh, at the traffic lights. So I'm going to do a shoulder check here and uh, signal shoulder check one more time, going in the left-hand lane. Light is green, so we go in the intersection and then we're gonna wait for the oncoming traffic to clear. Um, right now, there's no pedestrian. After the white car, we can go because the next uh, vehicle is a little bit far. So we have a gap between traffic no pedestrian somebody's um, on the crosswalk here so i'm slowing down looking in my rear view mirror as well pedestrians have crossed so that means we can go um so again everyone we are in uh, Burling uh, burlington ontario um so if you are going for your driving test um you know uh, make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel um for uh, helpful videos so lights are still flashing, but the pedestrian has already crossed. Uh, so that means we uh, we can clear the intersection. We have a green light. There is a flashing hand, so the light can change any second like this. Looking in my rear view mirror, nobody behind me. Um, so now we stop here. So that's why I try to anticipate when the light will change. So um, I know the light was green for a while, and there was a you know uh, I was looking in that pedestrian signal. And I saw the hand was flashing. So that means the light will, uh, you know, it can change any any second. 
So when the light uh, turns green, uh, we're gonna quickly scan the intersection again. So there's not not much going on on the left hand side. There's uh, you know that's your city hall there, Burlington City Hall, and uh, traffic is uh, mostly approaching from the right hand side. But we're still gonna check on both hand side, uh, both sides, left and right, because there could be pedestrian, right, uh, pedestrian, cyclist. We don't know, right? So uh, it's better to check on both sides. Uh, looking in my rear view mirror as well. Now the light has uh, turned green. Okay, looks good. Now the car behind me is still over there because they were not paying attention. The person was actually, I think the driver was actually looking at their cell phone. Okay, so another uh, crosswalk here, um, right? So we just have to be careful uh, for pedestrians. Uh, if you see any pedestrian who wants to cross, that means you have to stop and uh, let them uh, go first. Uh, this intersection guys are uh, we gonna be turning left so I'm going to stay in this lane shoulder check I can do it um, you know just to um, um, uh, establish a habit there and uh, we stop here before the stop line um, so same thing here when the light turns green uh, we're gonna quickly scan the intersection then we go in the intersection and um, now the car in front of me doesn't have any signal on but they are in the left hand uh, you know turning lane so they want to go left but uh, just don't have any signal on so no pedestrian crossing so that means we are good to go now speed limit sign on the right hand side maximum uh, 40 kilometers we have a stop sign here and uh, we're gonna be uh, going straight actually uh, from this uh, stop sign this is always stop sign so if you stop first you go first this pedestrian on my left hand side um, so uh, I will wait and uh, let them uh, go first so pedestrians, uh, right? So that's why you need to check on both sides. Okay, so now we can go. All right, so we are good to go now. And uh, there's another stop sign coming up. And um, this stop sign, we're gonna be actually uh, turning uh, turning right on the stop sign. So I have uh, my right signal on, looking in my rear view mirror as well. Complete stop here. And uh, I'm just gonna wait for this pedestrian, not sure which way they wants to go. Okay, she's letting me go first. So that means we can uh, we can go first. Um, you know, if a pedestrian um, is letting you go first, right? So she was waving at me. Um, so that then it's a fair game. You can um, you know uh, you can go first. But um, but just make sure you wait for pedestrians first. So another uh, stop sign here. So complete stop and uh, moving up. Now I know it's all way, but my view was completely blocked by the you know trees over there. And, I, and um, I don't want to turn blindly so that's why I moved up a little bit uh, to make sure you know uh, the road is actually empty like nobody's uh, you know speeding okay so complete stop here and uh, we are doing another right hand turn and uh, shoulder check as well okay very uh, you know tight corners here so when you're turning um, right um, just do your best make sure you keep your car in your lane don't go too wide on your turns because if you're going too wide uh, you enter into the you know uh, oncoming lane and that's um, going to be a mistake as well so here we stopped um, before this car and uh, we get to go first uh, did you did you guys notice the guy wasn't even paying attention right so how he kept uh, moving forward so that's why uh, you need to be uh, you know very very careful we are turning left on this intersection. We go in the intersection and um, okay, now the light has changed and no more pedestrian crossings. Uh, there was no pedestrian crossing, so that means we are good to go. So sometimes that will happen, like when you go in the intersection, your light will actually change first, right? So you go in the intersection, you're waiting for the oncoming traffic uh, to clear or maybe pedestrians uh, uh, you know, to clear and then your light will actually change to amber. Uh, if you see amber light uh, that means um, the oncoming traffic has amber light at the same time um, so you want to be careful if they are um, slowing down you can go but if they don't slow down then you wait for your light to turn uh, red um, and that's when you clear the intersection so basically you go when it's safe to go so we're going to be turning right on this intersection doing a shoulder check moving over and nobody's coming from the left hand side either so another shoulder check to make sure my blind spot is clear and we're just gonna go into this parking lot right shoulder check again okay and uh, keeping my car on the right hand side uh, treat uh, parking lots like uh, two-way streets uh, there's uh, you know kid uh, over there playing okay so looks like uh, 
mom has uh, stopped the kid so we are okay there and uh, i'm going to signal left free driver education to help you ace your driving test truby cars 